All right, we are at the third annual, I think it's Atlanta Motoring Festival. I went to this last year, actually brought this car, but it was in the parking lot. So now we have this car entered. We're in the little British car section. Should be a fun day. Lots more to come. This is like a, a mini tank, but it's remote controlled. <laughs> That's interesting. You can see him controlling it. I think I found her favorite car. The family car. There's a Triumph TR250. This is the owner of this is one of the first guys I met out here. Had a car car meet. Super nice. Found the Corvettes. And the Corgis. <laughs> 64 side pipes? Oh, this is 63, so oh, no, this is what people like to see. <laughs> uh, C7, but a matte finish? Interesting. The Mako Shark, of course. You guys always here. And plenty more Corvettes. I see one. And the C2 is NCRS certified, so that's pretty cool. But I vote for this one. All right, we submitted our votes for our people choice. Of course, we picked a C1 Corvette and that bus. Pop the hood so people could see the Diet Coke can. Do you remember that? But <laughs> you can see where coolant exploded. The one time this car almost let me down. The slowest excitement you will see all day, counting down. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's looking a little shaky there. Colonel Mustard. Oh, they have them in neutral. <laughs> so far, so good. No wavering. Okay. I should have recorded this. Shake it, baby! Oh, he stalled. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are having what happened before and what initially caused me to park this car. The timing is just falling off the map, like... We, I pulled over and checked it and I can't even find the indicator anymore. Now granted it is sunny and it's kind of hard to tell but something is going on. It is backfiring, it's losing power and mainly in third and fourth gear when there's high load on the engine. I have it in second gear in the neighborhood trying to get up this hill. It is struggling. Alright it is in the garage. We just barely made it home once again. It is frustrating and I think I'm at the point where um, if I'm contemplating selling it I can't sell it like this I, I would take too much of a loss so I need to get this fixed and I know for a fact the timing is moving around as I'm driving um, the clamp is all distorted but it might be the distributor itself. I don't know. I mean, I rebuilt the distributor, but this problem has came back. I don't know. I have a lot going on. I got to focus on this truck. And I'd like to start driving the Corvette again. We'll see. I'll have to figure something out to do with this. But that was the Roswell Atlanta Motoring Festival. Brought the Spitfire. It was the first time bringing the Spitfire to a show. It drove great there, but the way back, not so great. So, oh well, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, update, because I couldn't just leave it alone. Uh, after a few hours, went back, just went out, did a drive, did some gas. Um, I got this new timing light from my wife as a birthday gift. This is has the tachometer, digital. 
So really nice, I can see the tachometers, the RPM speed up here. But the problem I had was the idle jet on the outside, well really both of the idle jets, they were too far in. So I brought them out, that's gonna rich up the mixture a little bit. I did check the spark plugs, they were white on the end, so lean or incorrect timing or incorrect plug, but I'm gonna go with um, lean right now. Now, problem is, when I check the timing, I have it set at eight degrees before top dead center. I give it a rev. And then we moved up to about eight and a half. And I, I, I don't think you can tell, but to me, that is, the timing is moving around. It's not, it's not right. It's not doing the thing that it's supposed to be doing. Other than that, I mean, fuel filter, but don't, it doesn't feel like a fuel delivery. It feels like it's misfiring and it is pinging and sputtering and it is completely timing related to me. So we'll give this a go. I don't have much time anymore with all my other projects, but we'll see if we can fit something in.